Or permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 2. I just combed my beard out so it would stop bothering me. Hello, unnamed blue elite. And miscellaneous other elites. Look, up ahead, the parasite gathers for an attack. Oh. Oh. And me without a gun. This is embarrassing. Enemy of our lord! I guess they won't take that. Oh, Don't worry guys, they're just running back. There you go, there you go. That's a ceiling you're shooting at, guys. So I realized something. So this is, um... Pretty soon after I recorded. Uh, yeah. Wow. Who's going? Yeah, pretty soon after I recorded Halo One is when I'm recording this, which is why uh, I often like lose track of time because uh, for me it's a different time. Here. I'm sure this will work eventually. Man, the tag team of the Flood, or rather, the tag team of the humans in Covenant on the Flood is really. Oh, he's just... I am too. So anyway, yeah, I'm recording this pretty soon after I recorded Halo 1, which means that, yes, I recorded it a couple, uh, uh, months in advance? Quite a while, at least. Arbiter, we have little time. You select the gun. There it is. But the way his, like, little hands curl around it is so unique. Look at his beady little eyes. They're kind of cute. I'm trying to leave the target. I noticed is that like, the reason I started recording Halo 2 so quickly after Halo 1 is because I was extremely used for it. I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna play Halo 1? Cool. And like at first I was like, eh, I'll get into it. And then I ended up like really, really enjoying it, like a lot. Because like, hey, I like Halo, and that is a. Halo 1 is a very good, sublime uh, piece of level design and game design, I would say. You know? It's a very good show. The kind of things that I really like to dig my teeth into. Um, and the thing is, I didn't want to play it again, because, you know, I doubted I would record it again. Might stream it at one point. Oh, guys, safety. You want to call that out? Where are they? 
where are they coming from? Just in that little hole there? Also, it looks like everyone's been killed. Anyway, I enjoyed Halo 1 so much that I wanted to play Halo 2 right afterwards. Because Halo 1 leaves so much of it open. Like, I think Halo's done. I think it's just getting started. You know? Like, and I imagine Halo 2 is going to be much the same way, considering how rapid people were. Like, part of that was because they had a very excellent hat campaign. Sorry, I'm getting, like, my doom thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a lot less, uh, blood in there. There's almost zero. Anyway, my point. Hmm. This, this, I'm gonna pause it. But my point is that I think the reason, one of the reasons that I didn't care so much about Halo 4 is that I just couldn't bring it to myself to care. Because Halo 3 has an ending where it's like, okay, it's done, you can stop. Whereas Reach 1, 2 are all endings where it's like, okay, where's this going? Anyway. I'm going to cut it back, um, and also I've just noticed that the uh, audio has been maxed out this whole time, so, wow, what a nightmare. Anyway, I'll see you guys in like 10 seconds. Hey, so that took about like four tries. Um, my issue was, I was uh, trying to like bum rush everything with a shotgun and a sword, but the issue is, is that they can one hit kill you with a shotgun, because when you dash up to meet them, the, the gun is essentially in your head. So when they pull the trigger, it kills you right quick. It's a, it's a bit of a design flaw of running up uh, and fighting people with a sword when the uh, guns have been invented. That old familiar feeling. All right. Yes, I have now made progress but it took me like four or five tries to do. I'm going back and forth on whether or not I'm going to play Halo 3 right after this, because I don't want to just blow through it. And I have been pretty consistent, because I played Halo's... Um, Halo Reach and Wars right next to each other. Uh, ODST's on its own, but... Oh, cutscene. Yeah, ODST is isolated, but... Oh, there's the humans. Don't touch that. You don't know where it's been. It's probably like an alien penis. Gotcha. Why is she here, by the way? Yeah, there you go. Alien penis. You know, your father never asked me for help either. <laughs> the index is secure. I've got it hanging out of one of my belt Andy loops. Perez, how's our exit? You hear me, Marines? We got trouble. <laughs> She's dual wielding? Okay, when Chief does it, it makes sense because he's a Spartan. And the elites all make sense too, but she's just a human. Like, she and Johnson should be able to dual wield. How you doing? Kiss. Kiss him. What happens to what's her face in uh, Halo Wars?
right. Wave mind. Profits in the index and plan to use it over your dead body. Interesting. Oh, it's gross. What is that? I, I am a monument to all your sins. Fuck. Oh, he's here too. Relax. I'd rather not piss this thing off. Demon. <laughs> This one is machine and nerve, and has its mind concluded. This one is but flesh and faith, and is the more deluded. Kill me or release me, Parasite. But do not waste my time with talk. I love you, Keith there David. There is much talk, and I have listened. Through rock and metal and time. Now I shall talk, and you shall listen. Whoa. Greetings. I am 2401 Penitent Tangent. I am the monitor of installation 05. Oh, 05. I am the prophet of regret, counselor most high, hierarch of the covenant. A reclaimer here at last. Whoa. We have much to do. This facility must be activated if we are to control this outbreak. Stay where you are. Nothing can be done until my sermon is complete. Not true. This installation has a successful utilization record of 1.2 trillion simulated in one actual. It is ready to fire on demand. One actual. Of all the objects our Lord left behind, there are none so well as these oracles. Know nothing of the great journey! And you know nothing about containment. You have demonstrated complete disregard for even the most basic protocols. This one's containment. <sighs> and this one's great journey are the same. <laughs> Your prophets have promised you freedom from a doomed existence. But you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they wrought. Do not mistake their intent, or all will perish as they did before. This thing is right. Halo is a weapon. Your prophets are making a big mistake. Your ignorance already destroyed one of the sacred rings, demon. It shall not harm another. If you will not hear the truth, then I will show it to you. There is still time to stop the key from it's turning. It's so interesting that we're but working with the god found. of zombies you will to stop one the halos spot, from being turned on. And you will search another. Fate had us meet as foes. Just but because, like, yeah, none of us need the ring us brothers. What is that? It's like a giant space mushroom. I didn't know grunts could climb. We are, all of us, gravely concerned. The release of the parasite was unexpected, unfortunate, but there is no need to panic. In truth, this is a time to rejoice. A moment that all the Covenant should savor. For the sacred That's icon has been found. With it, our path is clear, our entry into the divine beyond guaranteed. The great journey is nigh, and nothing, not even the blood, can stop it. Oh. Hey, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Kill the demon. Okay. Let's party. Brutes. The faster you can kill those brutes, the better. 
They don't have shield generators, but take them out before... It's berserking! So yeah, this is where brutes first show up. Neat. Because as I know them in, in Halo 3 and in Reach, they are, you know, super common. Like, you got them all over the shop. See, people talk about how the Needler might work. And, like, the even people in universe... The council chamber? Protect the hierarchs. Seal the exits. Oh, I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, people in universe, scientists in universe are like, yeah, we have no idea how this thing works. Oh, it's a red plasma rifle, like in, like in, uh, ODST. That's cool. That's really interesting, actually. Oh, hey, fellas. This is cool. I like this. Again, it's taken kind of a different uh, approach. Oh, also, I've just noticed that only... Jeez, oh, Pete. Only one side of the, uh, of the plasma rifle has the indicator for how much it's heating up. See? Because it's on the left side of my right handgun. And it is on the left side of the le left handgun as well, but I can't see that. Wow, okay, so yeah, Berserk Brutes. Makes sense. So does that happen every time? Jesus. You're gonna get it now. So, um, I wanted to mention, there is a naming convention, a consistent naming convention for uh, AI. Because um, Cortana and all the other, like, a lot of those AIs are named after swords of some variety. But, um, Penitent Tangent is named consistent with Guilty Spark. So, it's 343 Guilty Spark. And 2401, Penitent Tangent. So 2401 is 7 to the 4th power, as opposed to 7 to the 3rd power, which is what 343 is. There's the super collapse. And Penitent Tangent is arguably an anagram, not an anagram, um, a synonym for Guilty Spark. So Spark can be taken as like a synonym for idea, right? Like, oh, I'm getting a spark, you know? Is this thing? Oh, this is the camera, isn't it? Oh, there we go. They've locked it from below. There's a door at the other end of the chamber. Interesting. And a tangent is a similar word that kind of means idea. That prophet, Truth, he has the index. You've got to take it from him. Let me get these doors. Go. It'll be easier to track Truth if I stay in the network. Oh, boy. So anyway, yeah. Um, penitence means that you are, you know, trying to experience penance because you feel guilty. Guilt is why people have penance. See, so yeah, it's it's a multiple of 7 and then a word that is a synonym for guilty and then a word that means some variation of idea. There we go. It takes a lot. I thought it was only seven to 
fire up a super collision. Right this way. And he's going sicko mode over there. Oh jeez. Yeah, they just get in there. Is that a one-hit kill? They really look like Chewbacca there. I do say. How did he spin around and kill me before I backstabbed him? Is this the fabled front back I've heard so much speak about? Jesus, this is not good. Just, would you please fuck off? Fuck you, goddamn. Go ape shiv. Funny. I believe that uh, Steam is still capturing my, uh... My, uh, uh, or rather, OBS is capturing my uh, Steam pop-ups. Yes, please die. Man, brutes, huh? Like, there's such an institution in Halo that, like, it's weird to think of uh, a time without brutes, you know? And, like, it really isn't a long time. It's... Most of, well, I mean, it's all of Halo 1 and most of Halo. Oh, the bird. Most of Halo 2. Watch out for the captain. He's got a brute shot. Oh, yeah, now brute weapons show up as well. Let's give this a shot. I haven't seen this uh, in this game yet. So, um, minor spoilers for a game that's like. 30 years old. How old is this fucking game? Anyway, spoilers for a 15-year-old uh, game? But Halo 3 starts with um, Chief not knowing where Cortana is. Or rather, um, having lost Cortana. So, I wonder if Cortana is going to be getting back in Chief's head here. I do enjoy melee attacks where it just, yeah, you know, like don't even bother with the gun. He didn't die from that? Jesus, dude. You guys need a union. Chabooms. Okay. I think that's what it wanted for me, right? And another thing about the needler. They also talk about how, like, it doesn't make any sense. No one knows how, uh... Truth is moving through the lower levels of the tower. I'll reverse this grab lift. Drop down, try to cut him off. It's safe, really. Just step in. Hmm. So the grab lifts... Uh, I mentioned this, but grab lifts are what they replace ladders with. That's a lot of dead guys. Ugh, what are these things? These potted plants? The holding pens, huh? They're beefing up their patrols. Stay sharp. Pull over and die, please. And you? Yes, thank you. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I saw an elite throw a grenade and say, Holy Flare, as he did so. It was pretty fantastic, I must say. God, I haven't played Halo 3 in a while. Thing is, I have played it more recently than I bought this uh, this game, though. No. God damn it! God, why are they so tough? 
It makes no reason. There's no reason for them to be that tough. No reason at all, sir. Where am I now? Might be getting to be a good time to pussy out and restart on easy. Okay. Were you trying to be sneaky over there, dude? Didn't work, but, you know. I never know if the smart thing to do is to jump whenever a plasma grenade hits you. Because I think you move slower, but I just want to be as far away from it as possible. Because like, if I'm just doing this, you can see that it's, you know, it's a decent speed. But if I jump, it feels a little slower. Okay, so I've just got to, I've just got to bear him down before he gets close to me. That seems to be this. I hope your death is painful. Like, I beat you to death specifically because you irritated me. See, if giving grunts rights requires us to, like, brutalize all... <laughs> brutalize all jackals, I'm okay with it. Wait a minute. I'm reading marine ISF transponders. The signals are originating somewhere below your position. No comment on how everyone you've ever known just got blown up behind you? Sure. Yeah. You're going to be the one, you're going to be a hero, you know? Somehow you, miscellaneous jackal, will manage to kill the master chief while you're in <laughs> Like I commented on how cowardly jackals are for running instead of fighting. Perfect stay. Bit of a waste of a grenade, though. Hmm. But yeah, I, I think that it is more realistic that they are cowards. Because, like, God, what are they going to do? Fight hand to hand? That's not likely. Catch. We'll trade, you see? So, she mentioned that they don't have shields. One of the things about um, shield combat that I talk about in ODST is that uh, shields require the player to move quick because you need to start attacking an enemy and then kill them. Because if they have regenerating health or shields, if you stop attacking, their health will come back and your ammunition will be... Your, your effort will be for nothing. And because their health comes back but your ammunition doesn't, that means it was something of a waste. Because they have functionally limitless health, but you do not have functionally limitless ammunition. Of course, that's why quick melee is a thing. And with only two guns, you need to, you know, think smart about it. However, if these guys don't regenerate their health, does that mean that I could just go absolutely crazy on them? Like, shoot them once with a plasma pistol, and then sneak away to hide, and then do it again? Jump in. Okay, cool. Is this the way forward? It sure ain't. Hey, yep. That's nothing. Is this the way? How about up here?
Cortana, help. I'm getting so lost. Oh, she hadn't reversed it, so it was still sending me up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Hold on, my phone. There are two groups of Marines in this detention block. I'll zero their locations. You neutralize the guards. Quietly. Yeah. You know me. They call me John Quiet 117. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Checking the recording. The other recording was six minutes. Okay, cool. And we're like 24 into this one, so we're making good time. I'm gonna get the car buying again. Why would I be? I have your best weapon. Oh, little buggos. Very good. So you can, you can see that uh, in this they actually made it so the brute shot like pivots around the handle so you can hit with the, the base of it, the back of it. And that's, that's a part of the weapon. Because otherwise, the weapon is one rigid piece, and you just, you know, you have to hit and move your elbow for it. But because with this, it actually spins. First of all, you have to watch out that you don't take out your fucking face with the barrel. Because, like, look, that's going right into Chief's chin, isn't it? He must be lucky, thankful, you know, even. He's got a helmet on. What are we doing now? Nothing like getting shot in the throat to start your day. Come to the lower level. The Marines are just inside. Careful of the guards. The lower level. I was just here. What do you want from me? Oh, here we go. Peekaboo. Hey, how does it feel to get defeated in melee by someone who isn't a brute? Do you feel cowardly? Okay, now you should stop chasing me. And we'll do a little pocket full of posies around this one. And then I'll come back in, reconvene. What's the word, everyone? Wow, was that all of them? That was pretty fantastic. Hey, fellas. Listen up, Marines. The chief's hunting a prophet, and you're gonna help him kill it. One more group of Marines to go, Chief. Okay, where is it? See, in Halo 1, they actually sometimes knew that the level design was so chunky and needed work, so they would just put big fucking arrows on it. And here, I guess they feel more confident, but I'm still bad at directions. Come to the middle level, Chief. Middle level. Guard. Get ready. I like how that guy wasn't even who I was aiming at, and he still got bodied. That miscellaneous jackal there. In here, Cortana? I guess so, right? Must be my, uh... Why not, right? Just keep crewing those in there. Anybody? Anybody? That's all of the Marines, Chief. Good work. Nice, nice. Give me some of that. And you also had a brute shot, sir. What on you? Come on. Can I guess they can't use brute shots, huh? 
<sighs> Who is that whispering in my ear? Get out of here the same way we came in. The central lab lift. Hostile reinforcements coming down the lift. <laughs> Just fucking falling down like a fucking sarcophagus out of the sky. Whoa, are those are those fuel rods? Uh, dude. Oi, I'm racist. Back to fucking back, huh? Dude, they're just stacked up here. Actually, wait. Let me refuel here a little bit. Shall we? Any better weapons? No, doesn't look like. One of the things mentioned about grunts is that they're actually really strong. Which surprises people, but like, yeah, that's why they can like heft around so much shit. Not my brother, the sacred icon is secure. It was Tartarus and his brutes who took the icon from the flood. For that, they have our thanks. Excellent. Truth is broadcasting on the move. It'll make him much easier to track. Emperor Palpatine, anybody? So I, just, I guess just keep going backward, right? Uh, this way, eh? Wait, elites? But the schism's happening. Anyway, yeah, this is that great schism thing that made it so that, uh, a lot of elites actually switched over to the human side, and, uh, the the role of elites was kind of taken over by brutes. Because one of the ideas and doctrines that I always believe in and observe is that evil is always going to be self defeating. You know, like the thing about like fascist ideals is that the people who enforce them are idiots who don't understand things, and that's why you know. Even if it was just a regular political ideal and that was like it was full of okay things to think, it still wouldn't be good to put your faith in. Like, ever. Because it's all stupid, you know? It's all like, yeah, let's just kill these people. Did they help us? Yeah, but they gotta die now. And it's like, great. Like, yes, the brutes are crazy strong, but they're nowhere near as smart or tactical as the elites. And by offending the uh, very specific sensibilities of said elites, you have now turned what was essentially your greatest weapon into your uh, greatest threat. Because the UNSC is fine, but they're going to need a lot of luck to you know, handle it. And in the case of... Uh, like everyone else like no that like adding the elites the to this to protect the profits and in so doing put all our lives on this the elites fail to protect no the profits because we told them to stop now and then that means they that they failed us, us safe whilst we find the path i've got a fix on truth just outside this tower Ooh, boy get away from me you're alive? Why aren't you dead, you fuck? But yeah, um, the Covenant... I'm not sure if the Covenant is exactly fascist, because they actually are, like, a collaboration of a lot of different races, but they have a lot of the ideals. Uh, they're certainly dogmatic and, you know, evil. And, like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, like... Because, because of how they be and what they do, all they do is just make their, their life harder. Because if they didn't feel the need to, to screw over the elites, then the schism wouldn't have happened. And they would have had the strongest warriors in the galaxy and some of the smartest. 
all of which are outfitted in uh, armor equivalent to the one good guy in on the human side. And Chief would have won still, you know, because it's a this is a war story and he's the hero. These aren't really cutting through them, are they? I, I'm not even losing points for it. Like, is, is this an immortal object I'm hitting here? Are they just so tough? Your mind blessing the brutes now lead our fleets. They ask for your allegiance, and you shall give it. You know, the thing about allegiance is that you can't say you're going to give their allegiance. It has to be freely given. Not to worry. It's pretty sloppy stuff. I guess they never expected a hostile intelligence to penetrate their network from the inside. Yeah, see, that's another thing. Like, they're so cocky that they never anticipated that someone could have possibly been in one of their homes. Like, it's like, oh, that could never happen. That's, Im that's impossible. I could never happen. It's impossible. It could never happen. And, like, guys, this not planning ahead thing, that that's what fucked you. Because I talk about how uh, the humans, like... The UNSC is a way for the writer to air out some very specific fetishes. You know, his fetish for military spending. You know, and all that shit. But honestly, um, part of that is like the fetish for having a plan. And it's like, it's, it's part of the escapist fantasy of like, of, of Batman, you know? Batman and the UNSC are, are, are similar in that, like, the writers love to be like, oh, we have a plan for that, you know? Yeah, we've got a contingency for that. Wait, this isn't what I wanted. I realized part of the way through that that I picked up a shitty basic pistol instead of the, uh, uh, god sword? Yeah, that, uh... Wow, is that one beam rifle shot? Is that what it takes to... Yeah. Oh, the strings on this level are really good. And this looks fantastic. Coward. There we go. Okay, here it's very obvious that this is a JPEG, but here, well, it's a matte painting. Interesting. So on the topic of, uh, yeah, right, so I didn't finish that whole spiel. So yeah, my theory is the Halo writers love to see, like, plans for every eventuality to the point where it almost reaches to like a sexual fetish you know like for them to be like oh yeah we have a plan for that too and like they can pull that out whenever they need they love that and the thing is um one of the things about the covenant which this is an interesting way to use it where you only one side has it the covenant does not do that <laughs> Like, the Covenant is just so assured that they're going to win from the very start that they never even consider anything besides Plan A. Like, all they have is Plan A. Like, at no point... Creatures of the Covenant, the path is broad, and we shall walk it side by side. Unless you're a Sang Healy, we hate those fucks now. Oh wow, neat. Oh, he shorted out his own gun. Idiot. I think you stuck your own dude, guy.
Oh, that's not it. Oh, that was really dangerous. And I, I, I made it dangerous. That was me. Yeah, at no point does the Covenant ever say, well, what if they get us away from Halo? Like, they find Halo, they're like, oh, great, we found Halo. Well, now we'll just turn it on and start the journey, you know? That just, they just know that that's going to happen. Because that's what they said was going to happen. And, like, never does anyone ever be like, what if, what if it, you know, what if we just can't right now? And, like, what John actually ends up doing is somewhat implausible. Hey, that's my sword. Stop wasting the battery on it. <laughs> I like how the four little grenades just fall on their little creatures of the cover. The path is more than we shall walk it side by side. Slip space rupture. It's in amber clad. You know, I think it's still weird that um stuck in this hole. You know, I actually just forgot what I was going to say. Oh, just keep bouncing. And don't make it dangerous like you did before, you jackass. See, this is nice. This isn't so bad, actually. I can just, I can just keep on moving. I really want to see where the store is going. I really need to stave off the lust to play uh, Halo 3 after this. Did I just go in a big circle? I can't have, right? Oh, hey, wow. Whoa, hi. Rise, Pack Brothers. Cast down the elites. There are those who said this day would never come. What a day to say now. Wow. See, I'm just I'm just running through here. One of the one of the greatest things I ever saw. I went to only one of my high school dances because um, the one I went to, the only thing that I really enjoyed about it was seeing my friends. And like, I can do that whenever, right? Like, I don't need to go to a dance to see my friends. So, yeah, that was the only dance I went to. But I did see one of the greatest things ever there. And that was, I was sitting on one wall on the far side of the gym, like far away from the table where they had all the snacks set up. And I saw two guys have a conversation. I have to you. And one of them like pat his belly as though he was hungry. Great journey begins with you. And uh, they were like, well, I, I could tell that they're figuring out, like, we want to go get the snack table. We want to go get the snacks. You know, get a, get a, get a drink of punch. You know. See, this is the same area as before, I notice. I feel like I'm going in circles. There's enough things different. But these are all, like, objects that they place in here. I guess that's a decent way to reuse assets. Anyway. Um, they crack their knuckles, roll through their elbows and stuff, and then they start dancing, and then they start moving as they dance, and they dance through the entire gymnasium, like, bobbing and weaving through people's dancing. Like, they have to dance through people. They're dancing through a crowd, you know? And that's how I think. There's so much enemy infighting going on. Anyone left? Yeah, there's so much enemy infighting going on that I don't really have too much to do. All I've got to worry about is just what I'm doing. Because the enemies are fighting the enemies. Like, they can't be bothered to, to stop. I want to clear out the brutes because I hate them. And the jackals because they deserve to die. And also, um, I think Brutes will usually win against Elites. 
Because, yeah, um, with, with the, the thing I talked about with shields, a brute has more health overall, but an elite shield will come back. But in the type of fight that brutes and elites usually have, uh, they don't have the chance to regenerate. Is this the way backwards? It sure is. Keep getting turned around here. Wow. Again, the difference of lighting is so stark. Fine, I'll kill you if that's what you want. Anyone? Anyone? Next? What the hell just happened? He was like in a time warp. Come on, come over here. Is that a fuel rod? Damn straight it is. There's gonna be more, uh, more beam rifles, I, I feel. But I like the fuel rod and I don't get enough of it. As for swords, I feel okay with, like, burning through a whole battery of sword. Especially if I'm just gonna get more opportunity. Jesus! I hope I got a checkpoint. Okay, yeah, I did. Well, that's great. That's one of the best checkpoints ever. See, guys, the thing about it is, it's kind of spoiled. Like, not gonna lie, NGL. The whole effect of invisibility is spoiled when you're carrying a glowing sword. <laughs> Ah, why not go for the full hundred? See, earlier I was just trying to use, uh, like, whatever was the fullest. But now I'm trying more to, like, essentially waste the battery of an energy sword. Just use as much of it as I can before I go into the next one. I didn't need to laser sword them. They were, you know, they're just running. I could just regular melee them, but look at this. Even more. It looks like the active camo almost gives them some 20 rods? Hold the phone. Okay. <laughs> The thing about a boss fountain in uh, Halo is that... Wow, again, that happened. The thing about a boss fountain in Halo is that no matter what, the most you can still have is always just going to be two weapons. And, like, they can give you some grenades, but, like, you're still only going to have so much. I can see why Chief has a reputation as the demon. Because goddamn, imagine like I I just showed up here and said boo. You know that is a bright side. I don't know why you're being sarcastic about that. Like I'm I'm legitimately pleased. See, again, issue with the fuel rod cannon. It's so fucking big, it takes up space on my screen. Like, when I first played through Skyrim, I got to Mark Earth and did the uh, House of Horror quest and got, you know, that amazing, amazing mace. Even though I was spec for swords, I still used it, and it was better than any sword I had. But eventually, I quit using it and went back to swords because it takes up so much of the fucking screen. Okay. So I'm going to have to take out some of them. Well, let's slit a few throats and get it done, huh? Two jackals come out here. Jeez. We can popped off on. Look on the bright side. For now. Uh, I might actually, yeah, I'm going to take a little, I'm going to take a little break here. This is going to be the end of the episode. Uh, thank you all for coming. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 2. Um...
we're coming up on the end of it. These are the last three levels. So only two... Yeah, only one or two episodes remain. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb.